from the we draw water from the well of salvation. And that is where we know it. That the greatest blessing is a blessing that comes from repentance. And this blessing gives us joy. And that is why we hear about the seventh in the uh, gospel reading today. That is not just about being a seventh. Are you ready to pay the price? Being all the time, walking around the clock 24-7 just for the master, that you are waiting for the master to finish his food so that you will remove the plate. You are waiting for the master to sleep before you go to sleep. You are waiting for the master to come back. Even when you have other things to do, you will stay standing waiting for him. That, this is a sign of seriousness. For we that are joining in prayer, Asking God for mercy, asking God for favor, asking God for breakthrough. There must be signs of seriousness. And that is why the last line of today's gospel reading, verse 48 of Luke 12 says that uh, uh, to whom much is given, much is expected. Much has been given to us. I think it's a privilege that we are tuned to the salvation of God. And that is the truth. We are those sin lead us. We are those bad life, life of debunkery, recklessness, uh, lead us, waywardness. We are those all these things lead us. We know the truth. And that is why when you are not doing right, rightly, there is a way your conscience pumps and you know that you are not standing on the, on the right direction. And that is it. To whom much is given, much is expected. God has given us the opportunity to relate with him, with his grace and with his mercy. We know that we will be able to thrive, to continue striving as the children of God. And that is why we see that it is better for us to think of what gives us joy. And that is the only thing that is in God. As I was saying about Hush Poppy, or the film Oracle. I remember also somebody advising the uh, Yahoo boys, as you still have mind to do Yahoo. Yet, before the government cuts you, what matters is what you are doing with that money. It's not just that you do Yahoo. You see many of them in their garage, different cars. When do you drive all these cars? Even at times, you will be afraid to drive them because they are an indicator that you are corrupt. And then also, we see some of them, even clubbing, you go to club, pump, pop one champagne at the cost of over one million. Where does it lead you? Is he actually joy? Some people say they are catching fun. How do you catch fun? Because those things are extreme vanity. It's not the vanity that Ecclesiastes talked about. Vanity upon vanity. is a vanity of emptiness. There is nothing in what you are doing. You, because you made money through fraud, and you are still 28, you are still 35, you have not gone anywhere, and you are pumping, pumping champagne, you don't know you are making the owner of the club rich. A champagne that may cost just maybe 100,000, maybe 50,000, and then you use 1 million to buy it. And you know, that the cost price is not one million, that you are paying like times 10 or the price. And it's not just something maybe you are celebrating your birthday. You do that on a regular basis. Is it not vanity? Father Leo says again, it's not the vanity of the Bible. No. I'm not here to preach vanity upon vanity. But it's for us actually to put our mind in certain things that we do. It's emptiness. It's emptiness. Uh, the Bible says in Psalm 90, verse 10, that the lifespan of men and women are 70 and 80 for those who are strong. There is something that struck my mind in the continuation of that verse. The Bible now says that most of these are emptiness and pain. Is it not true? It is true. Even as you live 70, 80, if it aren't true, at times we see an old man using, uh, you know, uh, to walk, by walking stick to walk. And by the end of the day, 
Oh, you will be a ah, woken car in no no go no go no. But when he was 40, how did he behave? When he was 50, how did he behave? We still read news today. A man or sister caught raping a girl of 13. How yet? It's not that you are you, you have lived a long life. You are 78. I love Bible so well. Psalm 90 verse 10. The lifespan of men and women are 70. And 80 for those who are strong. We will clap. Oh, somebody I know is celebrating 80th birthday. How was his life when he was 60? How was his life when he was 40? He may be a devil in 40. And do you know, except, yes, at times, long life can give you opportunity to repent. But some of them don't even repent until they became very weak. When you are even preaching that for them for repentance, they have, they have no strength to make effort again. So which means they don't even repent. Or even if they are now churches, it's not a churches that came from a conviction and personal de decision. And you think about it. We are clapping for that, our family or friend, that is, oh, 70 and we quote Bible. The MC quote Bible. Hey, wonderful thing. Uh, the, uh, 70, 80 for those who are strong. If you are 70, you will stay 80. But immediately, Bible said, most of these are emptiness and pain. Hey, emptiness and pain. What is, what is that? 